New this morning, the SEC is charging Kim Kardashian for a post on her Instagram last year that endorsed a crypto asset security sold by Ethereum Max without disclosing how much she was paid to promote it. Joining us this, with more this morning is our own Andrew Ross Sorkin, who talked to Gary Gensler today on Squawk. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Carl. Uh, we've got a lot of news on this. The SEC saying Kim Kardashian has agreed to settle the charges, pay more than a million dollars in penalties, and cooperate in an ongoing investigation. In a statement to CNBC, Kardashian's lawyer saying, quote, Miss Kardashian fully cooperated with the SEC from the beginning, and she remains willing to do whatever she can to assist the SEC in this matter. She wanted to get this uh, matter behind her to avoid a protracted dispute. The agreement she reached with the SEC allows her to do that so she can move forward with her many different business pursuits. Now, I spoke with SEC Chair Gary Gensler, as you just mentioned, earlier this morning, and I asked him about the rules around advertising since we've seen many celebrities endorse crypto on social media and in commercials. That if you're advertising perfume or you're advertising vacation homes or, or anything else on the Internet, there are various laws related to that, but these are the securities laws, and those other laws might be appropriate to just say hashtag ad. But in the securities laws, Congress put in place that you have to disclose not only that you're getting paid, but the amount, nature of it. And this was really to protect the investing public when somebody is touting a stock, and whether that's a celebrity, an influencer, uh, or the like. Carl, Gary Gensler there uh, sending a warning shot to influencers everywhere about uh, what should be required when it comes to disclosure. Uh, we asked him about exactly what that disclosure looks like. And I have to say, um, as strict as you may think the law is, it seems like there is some uh, distinctions between where social media may lay. Uh, she had a hashtag ad on her on her post and where an ad that might run in the Super Bowl with Matt Damon may lay. I don't believe that there's disclosure there about exactly how much he may be paid. There's also another issue that a lot of folks in crypto are watching in this, which is that Ethereum Max has clearly now been deemed a security, which raises all sorts of other questions mm -hmm. about uh, how other tokens will be regulated in the future as securities or not, and whether places like Coinbase will ultimately have to turn into a broker dealer if, in fact, it is not simply an exchange dealing with securities. So, uh, an issue uh, in the news that a lot of people are going to focus on because of Kim Kardashian, but um, folks in finance as well.